Hello again, friends. Welcome back to episode eight, the Ocho of the KK 2.0 video series. Ocho, of course, eight octocopters. What else could I say about that? This thing is big and badass. This is the Hobby King X930 octocopter built with my same uh, NTM 2826 1000 kV motors and 20 amp Afro speed controllers. The only concession I had to make here building for an octo instead of a hex or a smaller copter is I did run two packs in parallel here. That helps to cut down on voltage sag and also other problems that you would have uh, overloading the C rate of your battery. So make sure that you pay attention to that sort of thing. Other than that, man, it just went together super easy and flies like a dream. I'll show you that right now. Here. Plugging batteries into the harness and not into each other is always helpful. There we go. Two batteries all plugged in. And we're off. I love this thing. Just super, super good. So this thing's future fate is to go away from KK2 and get one of the HK Pilot Mega boards and a big old camera on it. So pretty soon this is gonna be my awesome aerial video platform. One of the things I noticed really quickly, get this copter away from myself so you guys can hear me. One of the things I noticed really quickly about the Octo versus other kinds of copter uh, was I lost a prop on my first test flight. I took off. And one of the props sheared off and shattered, and it was the least dramatic prop loss I've ever had with a multi-copter. I've got to say, if you're going to do any kind of video work, highly, highly recommend going with at least six motors, but honestly, the Octo is way better. I've lost props flying hexacopters before. They still tend to spin a lot, and you really have to fight to land. You can get them down without damage, but it takes real effort. The Octocopter, man, I lost a prop and it took me a second to realize what the green stuff fluttering down from the sky was, and as soon as I did, I landed the copter, changed the prop, and was back up in the air in about 30 seconds. It was absolute nothing. I'm a little scared of this guy, because he's quite a bit uh, heavier and more proppy than my usual copter, so despite the fact that I'm only like four feet from myself, that's as close as I'm getting. <laughs> Such a stable beast. Just awesome. Yeah, always the best place to be. Behind the pilot means not dying. It's a blender. It is a total hurricane generator if you're standing underneath the thing. It is crazy windy. <laughs> I'm so dizzy right now. Totally. It's a bit windy for slow pirouettes. Also, much like the uh, hexacopter, its little buddy, this is not a flippy copter. Although in truth, you know, that's banging a stick full side to side, so it's undramatic, but in a good way. This is just a great copter. And so that actually brings me to a good point. Safe. 
Um, <clears throat> I've built a lot of copters this year, more than most people would build probably in a lifetime. And uh, I've come to one very clear conclusion with all of this, and that's that ESCs absolutely make the multi-copter. Um, I've tried pretty much all of the ones that we carry at Hobby King. My current favorites by far are the Afros. Uh, the Simon K firmware just makes all the difference in the world and really just makes every copter I've put it on fly that much smoother. I've even started flashing all of the other ESCs in my house, either with Simon K or BL Heli. I'll show you how to do all of that in an upcoming episode because it's really, really important. Good ESCs make the stock settings on all of these boards fly the copters really, really well, which tells me that's the piece I've been missing all along. So. If I have any piece of advice for you guys with general copter building, it's go with a good high refresh Simon K or BL Heli ESC, such as our awesome Afros that come preloaded. Give that a shot. So guys, just a quick reminder that the KK 2.1 uses all the same settings and configuration information as the KK 2.0. I've got a 2.1 in my C3 Fiber Tri here. This is still one of my favorite copters that Hobby King makes. Uh, it's just awesome, it has tons of presence in the sky. I've recently upgraded this guy, as I was just talking about ESCs, with 30 amp Afros and the KK 2.1. Seems like as good a reason as any to fly it on camera again. Get ready for some turbo pirouette action. <laughs> ready? The other way's even more nuts. <laughs> Nothing has this much presence in the air when it comes to multi-copters. Like, this guy and his other fiberglass buddy, the X4, which is also currently getting an ESC upgrade, is just awesome to watch. They look super cool in the sky. You're gonna have like a quadcopter that you're gonna go like fly around the pattern at your local club. This is totally the one to fly. Totally looks like a fighter jet or something. I love it. Okay, it's covered in tribal art. I suppose it looks like some sort of punk rock fighter jet, but take your pick. I love this copter. Yeah. Makes cool like air interceptor moves, you all. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't get old, just doesn't. <laughs> so there you have it, boys and girls. As I said before, ESCs make the copter, and we will see very soon if there's any cool new KK 2.1 tricks or things that come out uh, as this thing stays out in the market and people learn more about the upgraded chip and gyros. I'm expecting big things from the community on this one. So uh, stay tuned and we'll see about that. Coming up very soon with the KK2 series, now that we've gone through all the different types of copter that you can build, excepting dual copters, which we'll get into at some point, uh, we're gonna start spending some time on acrobatics. I'm gonna show you guys how to take a basic KK2 copter with these very docile settings like the ones I've built and turn them into something more acrobatic and insane, get flipping and flopping, all that good stuff. So check that out really, really soon. Have a happy new year, guys, and I will be back as soon as possible. See ya. Okay, almost lost it on that one though. <laughs> a lot of spinning. <laughs> tall grass is tall. <laughs> There's a reason I fly here. This stuff's like two feet deep, and occasionally it grabs a hold of your copter, but they're really uninjured in the process. 